Lepo pozdravljeni in dobrodošli na predstavitvi študija na Univerzi v Ljubljani. Hello everybody and welcome at the University of Ljubljana online presentation. We are happy that so many of you joined us at today's presentation and that you are thinking about studying at our university. We are aware that it's probably not easy to do home to study in foreign country. In order to help you start your study at the University of Ljubljana, we have prepared this event especially for you. Today's presentations will be recorded and published on our website. We will also send you video and puppet the presentation to your email address you listed at the application. If you do not want to be visible, please rename yourself to an anonymous participant and turn off the camera. I would also kindly ask you to mute yourself to, for smoother presentation and better sound. My name is Katja Zerer and I'm responsible at our university for promotion of study and some support activities for international students and for collaboration with international partners. I will shortly present you information about study possibilities, benefits for students, opportunities for learning Slovene, scholarships and other activities and possibilities. This will be followed by our student impression, who will share with you his experience about studying at the University of Ljubljana and living in Slovenia. With us is Ahmed Yasharovic, he's our student at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering, and he also works at our university in IT department. Uh, he will also provide us technical support during today's and tomorrow presentation. And if you have any question for him, you can also ask him and write to him in the chat section. So before we start with presentation, I would also kindly like to invite you to our information days. Uh, we are, today we will present you information about studying at the University of Ljubljana, and then this will be followed by study possibilities at the Faculty of Education, Academy of Music, Faculty of Computer and Information Science, Faculty of Social Sciences, and Faculty of Public Administration. You can join us also at tomorrow presentation when we will present our Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport, Faculty of Natural Sciences and Engineering, Faculty of Arts and School of Economics and Business. We already organized special information days for Slovenians abroad and foreigners for enrollment into bachelor and single cycle master degree programs and online information days at our academies and faculties and study in Slovenia presentation. And you can find, uh, find our PPT and video presentation on this link. So you can also check this link for more information. So why study in Slovenia? Slovenia is a very safe and beautiful country. Our natural world is dominated by green, uh, while the country features diversity in all regions. Slovenia occupies an exceptional position at the meeting points of the Alps and Mediterranean. You can hike in the mountain and swim in the sea in one day. Slovenia also has great geographical location, which allows you a good starting point for traveling abroad. As you can see on the picture below, Slovenia has a shape of a hen, and uh, here on this picture, the hen is dressed in Slovenian traditional national dress. As a student in Slovenia, you will have many benefits from subsidized meals and transport to scholarship opportunities and possibilities for student work. This is also very important information regarding tuition fee. So if you uh, are coming, uh, you do not have to pay uh, tuition fee for bachelor and master studies. If you're coming from EU countries, Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein and Norway. Also, if you're coming from countries with which our uh, country, Slovenia, has concluded bilateral agreement. These are Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo, and Serbia. So if you're coming from these countries, you do not have to pay tuition fee for bachelor and master studies. 
Also, if you have permanent residence in the Republic of Slovenia, all your part, uh, parents, guardians are taxpayers in our countries. Scholarships is not paid also by scholarship holders of the Republic of Slovenia and students who come for exchange for semester or, or two at our university. Here is also included PhD students. And now information, who has to pay tuition fee? So tuition fee is paid by all citizens, students who are coming from non-EU countries, excluding uh, those countries uh, with which we have bilateral agreement. Then you will have to pay tuition fee if you already have acquired equivalent degree of education, if you decide to study part-time or at the doctoral level. Here I would like to point out that in Slovenia, we have a national co-financing scheme, so we can also apply for co-financing of your doctoral studies. Um, the public development, a scholarship development, disability and maintenance fund of the Republic of Slovenia carries out various scholarship programs. At the moment, they have open calls for scholarships for study of Christology, and scholarships for citizens of Jordan and Palestina. Also, they announced call for scholarships for Slovenians abroad for bachelor and master studies. Call is expected to be published in August in their website, and they're expecting to uh, the scholarship is expected to be 204.80 euros per month. And uh, scholarship holders, you will also have possibilities to get accommodation in the student dormitory. Uh, this of course depends on the situation of the coronavirus because at the moment it is not possible to reside in the student dormitory. And for more information, please check the public found, uh, find, uh, found website. So uh, now uh, I would just like to present your scholarship uh, for covering tuition fee for learning Slovene for members of Slovene ethnic minorities in other countries. So those who have uh, Slovenian roots, you can apply for this scholarship. Already there are open application for summer, autumn, winter and spring school of Slovene language. Uh, now I will present you information regarding entrance to Slovenia and uh, health insurance. Uh, if you are a citizen, if you are coming from uh, the member states of the European uh, Union uh, or from the European Economic Area, you may enter Slovenia with a valid identity card or valid passport. Uh, third nationals must acquire a visa or a residence permit from Slovenia's diplomatic mission abroad. Please note that universities do not provide support for the application process and we can also not influence on this procedure. Due to current uh, situation, please check our website or the website of our Ministry of uh, Interior regarding border crossing. Uh, now I will just shortly present you information about health insurance. This is also very important. Uh, if you are insured in the EU member states, uh, states of European economic area, Switzerland and Australia, you have the right to obtain emergency or necessary health care services. Uh, Slovenia also has concluded bilateral agreement with Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Serbia and Montenegro. And if you are insured in these countries, you have the right to emergency health care services. If you are insured, uh, if you are not coming uh, from these countries, uh, who are uh, from the European Union, uh, European Economic Area, Switzerland uh, or Australia, you have to conclude compulsory health insurance in Slovenia and you can register for insurance at the unit of health insurance Slovenia. Based on your inclusion in the insurance system of Slovenia, you will have free access to healthcare services within the scope of compulsory health insurance. 
Uh, we would also like to suggest you and to recommend you that you take uh, out supplementary health insurance at the commercial insur insurance company uh, because uh, you can be required to cover the difference to the full price of health care services yourself. Now I'm going to shortly present you our university. Our university is located in Ljubljana. Uh, Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia and it is a very youthful and pleasant city to live in. Uh, we have many museums, galleries, theaters, cinemas, also one of the oldest Philharmonic Orchestra in the world. There is our university, many institutes and libraries. Uh, the image of the city by the river with pictures, bridges and markets was designed by our architect Jozef Lechnik. Uh, the city is also surrounded by parks and protected areas of nature, which allows you to hike in the nature. 40,000 students give the city youthful appeal. In the city center, you will also find a lot of pubs, restaurants, clubs and shops. Kongresni Trg is one of the, of the central squares in Ljubljana, where is also the seat of the University of Ljubljana. Our university is the oldest and largest higher education and scientific research institution in Slovenia. It was established in 1919 with five member schools. We, at present, we have 23 faculties and three art uh, academies, which covers all fields of study. This is important so we can choose at our universities programs in the field of art, fine arts, natural science, technology, engineering, social sciences, humanities, medicine, health sciences, and sport. Uh, we have most of our faculties and academies are located in Ljubljana, except our faculty of maritime studies and transport, which is lo located in Porto Rosh. Uh, the central building, uh, you can also see it on the picture uh, at the mine background, and also some faculties and academies are located in the city centers. And the most recent and modern buildings were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana. This year, more than 40,000 students study at our university, and among them, we have almost 9% of degree seeking international students. Uh, approximately 6,000 6, higher education teachers, researchers, assistants, and administrative staff work at our university. Our programs are completed by more than half of bachelor graduates in Slovenia, more than two thirds of master degree holders, and more than 80% of doctors of science. So why study at our university? Our university ranks among the top 3% of the universities in the world. Also, the education acquired at our university will allow you to gain the knowledge, practical experience, and, and skills you need to succeed in your career, wherever in the world you choose to work and live. You will be also encouraged to get involved in numerous extracurricular activities and attend a series of additional education and training courses. We will also help you with our tutors and various support activities uh, to your integrating into your studies in life in Slovenia. As the study is most, mostly conducted in Slovene, you will you have many possibilities of Slovenian language courses. And uh, also we prepared activity year plus, which I will explain to you later. Our career centers provide students and graduates various activities in the field of personal and career development. So you will be also able to, to manage your own, to learn how to manage your own career. You will learn about new professions, and you will be given the opportunity to establish contacts with potential employers. As our student, you will also be able to get involved in various extracurricular activities. Uh, at the moment, we have mostly most organized and developed uh, sport activity, where you can also gain three ECTS credit points at your bachelor or master degree studies. 
Uh, we are also aware of the importance of the well-being, and that's why we provide free psychosocial support. So as our student, uh, you will also have many possibilities for practical work and internship, and also a good access to uh, library resources and services. Uh, you will be also able to attend concerts, exhibition, and performances organized by our academies and faculties. If you do not decide to study at our university, you are welcome to join us at our summer school courses. Our academies and faculties offer every year more than 40 different summer school courses, or you can come to our university as an exchange student. Uh, our professors, researchers, and scientists are involved in various research groups, projects, and activities. And as our student, you will also be able to get involved in this project and activities. So here I list I listed some uh, our successful uh, projects. Um, for example, our researchers um, are studying the regenerative abilities of human fish, which could help us in medical treatment. Uh, they are also very successful in the field of robotic and treatment of uh, cancer with evaporation. Uh, and maybe you heard that they were the first uh, who discovered uh, collaboration uh, collaboration between uh, virus Zika and fetus brain damage in infected mothers. So in cooperation with foreign universities, we also organize interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies, and we emphasize international exchanges of students and staff. We are actively involved in international partnerships, and we are leading an association called Utopia, which also includes five other European universities. So as our students, you will have many opportunities for hosting and exchanges at the universities abroad. Now let me go to the study programs we offer at our university. Uh, I also see some questions, saw some questions uh, about enrollment. I will try to answer you uh, during this presentation, or you can uh, contact us later at the email addresses. I will also send you um, video presentation, uh, our contact, and more detailed uh, video presentation of our application admission procedure. So uh, during this presentation, I will want to go into details regarding admission and application uh, because this was already presented, but I will send you link so you can watch it later. So uh, let's go to the degree programs. Our degree programs range across all fields of studies. Uh, they are internationally renowned, comparably, and professionally attractive. Uh, so in last year, we have accredited more than 400 programs. And now this is also very important information. Uh, all relevant information about offer degree programs enrollment requirements, language, duration, and number of available places is published at our website in the call for enrollment. So please go to our website, study ULA. There you can find call for enrollment for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs and check the program you're interested in for enrollment. You can find all information uh, in, in this call. And also later, uh, when our faculties and Academy of Music will present their programs, you will find more about more information about their programs. Uh, so uh, just a little bit about the degree structure. Uh, the nominal length of bachelor degree programs is three or four years. Uh, you gain 180 or 240 ECTS credit points. Uh, then we also have single cycle master degree programs. They last five or six years and they have, we can get 300 or 360 ECTS credit points. Uh, single cycle master degree programs are for EU regulated professions such as medicine, dental medicine, veterinary medicine, pharmacy and architectures. And the nominal length of master degree programs is one or two years. 
uh, information about doctoral degree programs. Our faculties and academies offer 21 doctoral degree programs. Almost all doctoral degree programs last four years, except program governance and economics in the public sector, which last three years. And if you're thinking uh, to apply for the doctoral programs, it is important to know that you have to choose a mentor, a potential mentor before enrollment, and at least agree on the content of your dissertation and participation in research work. Uh, and for help in choosing the right mentor can be provided by the coordinator, and you can find this information at the website of the doctoral school. Uh, just a short information about admission and recognition of education. So Slovenia has a national online system for enrollment and recognition of foreign education. Just today uh, opened application for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs. You can find this application at the ministry website and also at study ULA website. So just click to the link at our website, apply now, and you will be direct, redirected directly to this uh, a application. Uh, so this year it will be a novelty that all notification, including the conclusion of the results of the selection procedure, you will get in the EVASH application. Also important information, matura or diploma is not required for applying. So you apply as I would recommend you that apply as soon as possible. And then you when you graduate or finish your high school, you send us uh, required documents for recognition of education. Um, also, uh, I mentioned before, I will send you a link uh, with detailed presentation about application and admission procedure, which was prepared by our admission office. And uh, if you will need help, you can also apply for online counseling on the application admission procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. This is organized every Wednesday from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Uh, by our admission office. You can also contact our info point for uh, more information uh, due to Corona, it is not possible, it is not open for personal visit, but you can contact us by email uh, or, uh, or by phone. Uh, I, here I would also like to point out that uh, you do not need the service of recruitment uh, agencies and agents for application. We know that many agencies and agents provide uh, and offer help and support, uh, but application is not complicated. Just follow the instruction or uh, contact our info point. You can apply, as I mentioned, for the uh, counseling. Uh, if you will use services of agencies and agents, uh, you will also not have any priorities for the enrollment. Uh, here are information regarding documents uh, required for recognition of foreign, uh, foreign secondary education. Uh, when you will apply, you will also receive a letter from our from my, from my colleagues, uh, which documents has to be sent for the uh, recognition of foreign secondary education. And you can contact uh, this uh, email recognition at uni-lab.c for more information. Uh, so uh, a little bit about application periods. Just today, uh, it was opened the first application period for bachelor and master degree programs. You can see that we have different application deadlines for those who are coming from EU and non-EU countries. So as I mentioned before, please just apply as soon as possible. And you can also follow our timeline. We have prepared interactive timeline for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs when you can get all information about the application admission procedures per individual month. So you, you also find this timeline on our website. Uh, call for enrollment for master and doctoral degree 
programs will be published later. Uh, and uh, we expect and we hope that it will be by the end of the February, but please check our website for more information. Uh, and here we also have different application deadlines. So um, please check uh, the program you're interested in to find correct information regarding application. Uh, here I put some information regarding possibilities of uh, learning Slovene. Uh, we have prepared uh, Slovene Learning Online. This is free uh, accessible online course, uh, which is prepared in eight different languages. Uh, our Center for Slovene as a Foreign Language also offer different online and in-classroom courses. Uh, and you can find more information on this website. Uh, I mentioned before activity year class. Uh, this is uh, activity which, is, uh, which was designed especially to help international students to acquire language and other skills in their first year of bachelor or master studies. Uh, and uh, it also allows extension of student status under certain conditions. Uh, uh, some of our degree programs also require um, certificate of Slovene language knowledge at B2 level. And if you are uh, will enroll into this uh, program, uh, you cannot apply, you cannot attend year plus. Uh, for this year, I have information now for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs. Uh, are be, uh, required uh, is required knowledge of the B2 level at the, the degree programs at the Academy of Theater, Radio, Film and Television, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Law and Faculty of Health Sciences. This is for all programs offered by these faculties. Also, it is required for program journalism at the Faculty of Social Sciences, program comparative literature and literature theory, Slovene studies and psychology at the Faculty of Arts, mathematics education at the Faculty of Mathematics and Physics and administration at the Faculty of Public Administration. Uh, so regarding accommodation, um, uh, to reside in the student dormitory is possible in Ljubljana only for the recipients of uh, ministry scholarship. Otherwise, you have to find accommodation yourself. Uh, here we prepared some uh, options uh, to help you find a room or uh, apartment. Uh, we also gather some students impression what students think about study at our university. Uh, some of them also provided their email addresses and you can contact them for more information. Uh, now I would just like to give a word to Ahmed Yasharovic uh, to share uh, his experience about studying at the University of Ljubljana. So Ahmed, please. Well, thank you, Katya. I hope you all see me, you all hear me. Um, you can thumbs up if you do. Uh, but need less to say, I will start. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ahmed Yasharovic. I'm 21 years old currently uh, studying at Faculty of Natural Sciences and Engineering, a Graphic uh, and uh, Media Technology, so more uh, creative person. Originally, I'm from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I've decided to um, do something you know, different with my life. Most of my friends were planning to go somewhere else studying. Uh, some of them went to Austria, some of them went to Belgium, and I've kind of um, had some of the faculty in my shortlist and went to the presentation of the University of Ljubljana. Uh, two years ago, the presentation was physical, so you, you could enjoy all the beauties in Ljubljana, all, all, all the beauties uh, from uh, around. And that's when I fall in love with Ljubljana and, 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 and uh, the faculty and everything that was offered. Uh, since the beginning of, of my studies uh, and before that, I the main main problem with me was the selection process. The selection process, and I found out that I was uh, admitted to the college and to the faculty uh, was at September, 
and from September to October, you have two, three weeks to find out your flat, to find out where you're gonna live, uh, how you're gonna uh, cooperate with that, with that stuff. Uh, homesickness can be a such problem, but neither, neither less I decided to uh, take a challenge. And uh, I'm so glad to see every one of you that joined and, and want to do want to go abroad and want to do something else with with your life, with your studies. Uh, studying at University of Ljubljana opened so many doors for me. Uh, currently, I'm working at the IT sector of University of Ljubljana and uh, finishing my diploma. And I will as well maybe finish the master studies here. Uh, why? Because this country can give you so much opportunities and the opportunities that you go from the faculty uh, are something um, neither to say something that, that are useful information, uh, uh, opportunities to work at internships, uh, to meet some new people and everything else. Uh, the one, one reason that I was scared about uh, was Slovene language. Uh, I came to Slovenia without knowing any word. Um, Bosnian and Slovenian languages, all the Balkan languages are, are similar, but Slovene is a little different. Uh, they can understand me, that they could understand me, but I could not understand them. And that's when University of Ljubljana offered everyone the, the chance to learn Slovene language. Uh, I went um, the whole year for the courses, and those courses not only brought me um, the knowledge in Slovene language, but also brought me uh, six ECTS credits, which is good in some ways. Um, in, in, in those kind of ways, I could uh, assimilate with everything. And even my professors at faculty were uh, all considerable with my knowledge and, and they offered me to have seminars to, to write exams in English language or even my own language, but uh, you need to, uh, of course, put your priorities. And if you're in the country you're studying in, it, it, it is fine to, to learn some of the words to cooperate with people and everything. Um, the process for the application is really not that hard. You go to the internet, you put on Evas Priava, and everything is written, everything, um, you just need to, follow uh, what is written. Uh, well, one, one thing that I was uh, scared is the living costs. And those living costs could be uh, from four to 400 euros to 600 euros. And of course I was looking for some kind of uh, stipendium, but neither less to say you have the free tuition, you don't have to pay for your studies, which is um, one extra way to, to, to find yourself comfortable with the country that is hosting you. Uh, neither less to say, I also started working and for the process of working, you need to have uh, their MSHO, which is the identification number. Uh, every child in Slovenia, which is born, the, they get their identification number as well as you will. Um, they also get the tax number. Um, those processes are, are done in the time when you come to Slovenia, when you find your apartment, when you want to have the mobile phone, mobile phone number, uh, when you want to uh, learn how those, uh, how those things work. Everything is very, very simple and the instructions that university provides you and the instructions that are provided by your professors, uh, your mentors, tutors. I also had a really good tutor, which helped me uh, assimilate in my faculty to assimilate with what professor wants. Uh, how do you cooperate with all that stress? How do you cooperate with homesickness? And the homesickness, you can use it. The homesickness can br bring you the more, um, the more, I don't know how to say it, but enthusiasm, uh, willingness to work uh, and uh, everything else that's coming uh, from that way. I also have um, Evan, only only the best experiences and I'm really happy to see many of, many of you applying. So if you have any of the questions regarding the staying in Ljubljana, regarding the studies, you can 
also contact me in the private chat or you can contact me on Facebook or I'm available. So thank you for listening. Listening. I hope you're all doing well during these times and I hope that you've made the, the decision. Good luck. Ahmed, thank you. And thank you for sharing your experience about studying at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, now we continue. Oh, here, here is, um, I put some contacts uh, which are uh, for uh, about our offices who are responsible for um, application admission procedure, recognition uh, at bachelor, master and doctoral level and for the transfer, this is uh, organized at our faculties and academies. Uh, you can also find uh, uh, how to say uh, email address for technical assistant for filling out the application for enrollment uh, and some other useful uh, email addresses. So now we will start with the presentation of our faculty of education. Our faculty of education uh, educates and, educate and trains teachers and other professional work, workers in the field of education. Uh, with us are uh, Igor Repat and Tina Kral from Office for Research and International Cooperation. They will present you study possibilities at their faculty. Also joined us Robert Gracar from Office for Students Affairs and Seda Moore Ergul, uh, also a student at the Faculty of Education who will share experience about study at the University of Ljubljana. So Igor, please. Okay, thank you. We hear each other. Do you hear me? Okay, let me just start the presentation. Um, as, uh, so welcome, uh, welcome from Faculty of Education. Uh, my name is Igor Epatz. I work in the international office. I'm joined today with my colleague uh, Tina, who will keep an eye on chat and probably correct me if I say something stupid. Uh, I also invited our colleague from Office for Student Affairs. He will help me answer any questions regarding the enrollment procedure. And as Katya mentioned, we also have uh, a student here from Turkey uh, and she will share briefly her experience uh, as she went through the whole enrollment procedure and she can tell about uh, how, how it is to study at our faculty of education. Uh, allow me first to start with, to show you our one minute promotional movie, uh, just that you see a glimpse of how it is to study with our faculty and probably just that you have some break from this, all these talking heads. It's just one minute long, so I'll be right back. has already uh, made first presentation of our faculty. As she mentioned, uh, we, of course, uh, train all kinds of professionals from preschool and primary teacher uh, to teacher uh, in two subjects. But we are not offering just the traditional teachers programs uh, in the faculty of education. Uh, uh, 
we uh, we are actually the only institution in Slovenia that trains also specialists for inclusive education and the education of children and young people with special needs. Uh, you have to know that we are among biggest faculties at our university with approximately 2,300 students, and we have approximately almost 200 staff members. Um, I will go in this presentation just briefly through all our degree programs. We will not go into speci uh, specifics of each program. If you are interested uh, in some specific questions, I kindly encourage you to contact us uh, after the presentations or in the following days. And if necessary, we can also uh, link you with the coordinator of a particular program. So here, the purpose of this presentation is just to briefly walk you through all the degree programs that we that we offer. Um, our first cycle programs, um, uh, you can see them on the slides, uh, primary teacher education, the two subject teacher, art pedagogy, special and rehabilitation pedagogy, social pedagogy, visually impaired education, and the pedagogy of specific, specific learning difficulties, speech and language therapy and certain pedagogy, and preschool education. Now, all our first cycle study programs are four years long, which means 240 ESTS credits, except for preschool education, which lasts only three years. Our second cycle programs, uh, we have two types of them. So one, uh, one type are two year second cycle programs and the other one is just one year second, second cycle program. Um, in two-year programs, we, you can find art therapy, cognitive science, which is actually a joint program with University of Vienna, computer science education, education policy, inclusive education, museum education, preschool education, supervision, personal and organizational counseling. And uh, our um, one-year second cycle program is teacher education with all these different possible orientations. Now, I have to mention here that not all these programs are included into the uh, call for enrollment each year. So uh, if you are in, interested in specific program from this list, you have to obviously check in the call for enrollment whether or not this particular program is offered that year. Uh, and of course, uh, we are very proud to our third cycle program, Doctoral School which has two different possible scientific uh, areas. So one is teacher education and the other educational science. Now, probably your first question is, uh, which of these programs are offered in English? Um, most of our programs, majority, as a, this is the case in all the faculties, I would say in our universities, uh, are running in Slovenian language. So uh, you can study in English just the following programs that are listed here on the left. So uh, in second cycle programs, we offer arts therapy and educational policy. We also offer one year master study of primary teacher education with English. And of course, you can study your doctoral program uh, in English on our faculty. As mentioned, all the rest study programs are in Slovenian language but the knowledge of Slovenian language is not required uh, for uh, enrollment. So uh, if you are present with us from the very beginning, uh, Katya presented to you the option for year plus, uh, but basically that means that you can also try to enroll and enroll into the program, which is run in Slovenian language, even if you don't speak a single word of Slovenian yet. Now, to just show you, how much internationalized we are. I have uh, gathered some information about the number of foreign students that are currently enrolled into our programs. And uh, so you can see from which countries they are coming from. And as you can see, most of them are coming from the countries of uh, ex Yugoslavia. And I have deliberately here uh, marked with red color the countries who have bilateral agreement with Slovenia, which allows students. So if you're coming from these countries, you can actually study here without tuition fee. Um, I have also gathered data about where are these foreign students enrolled actually in which are our programs. So you can see by far 
it's uh, our doctoral school that has the most foreigners, uh, which is followed by two first cycle programs actually that are running in Slovenian language. One of them is social pedagogy and the other special and rehabilitation pedagogy. Uh, just to continue on this uh, internationalization information of our faculty, uh, I would like to share with you that we are proud that we receive more than 100 foreign exchange students per year that most commonly come from Spain, Czech Republic, Austria, Slovakia, Germany, Turkey, Croatia, Netherlands, and so on. And we sent out approximately 100 students per year to the partner universities across the Europe. Um, we are proud to say uh, to, that we have more than 120 Erasmus bilateral agreements where you can spend your uh, exchange semester or two. Uh, of course, if you would be enrolled at our faculty, at our university, you too would be able to use these programs and go abroad for exchange uh, into, into one of the following countries, which are most commonly uh, 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 picked by our students. So that's, these are Austria, Netherlands, Spain, Portugal, Slovakia, Denmark, Finland, Czech Republic, Hungary, and so on. Now, ah, here we come now to the information about the enrollment slot. So this is the number of available spots in the call for enrollment. And here I would ask my colleague Robbie from uh, Office for Student Affairs to briefly explain you this rather complicated table well uh, uh do we hear each other is it okay yeah yeah okay uh so uh as you can see uh, more or less every single uh, available program study program has uh, uh, a bit of uh, slots especially uh, reserved uh, for foreigners so we are uh, when we say foreigners, we uh, think of uh, citizens of non-European uh, countries. Uh, while, uh, let's say, for Croatians, uh, Croatian citizens, uh, you have to um, you have to apply uh, for the slots in the first row, which uh, with the, the most of available spots, um, and of course. Uh, all strangers, all uh, foreign uh, students have to undergo the procedure of uh, recognition of uh, high, school, uh, high school education. Uh, so we as a faculty, at the end, we just get the information uh, which students we have to invite for enrollment. Uh, and as my uh, colleague Igor said uh, previous, uh, with, uh, while his presentation uh, for every uh, for any kind of question regarding uh, enrollment um, uh, and procedures and uh, anything else you can you can write to our email um, you can find it on our web page i don't know maybe uh, maybe just um, another thing uh, considering um, slovenian language as um, uh, when enrolling. Uh, there's no need to uh, speak Slovenian language and uh, some programs are even conducted in English if uh, enough uh, students enrolled, but uh, you have to take into consideration that after graduating, uh, graduating uh, when entering the um, the, the 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 work uh, well I can't find the the word well, well when employing uh, you will have to to pass the um, uh, proficiency exam uh, which uh, uh, of course uh, for which you will have to speak Slovenian language um, okay I don't know maybe questions already i saw that there is already either asked uh, if it's possible to combine english and german language i don't know i think this is uh, 
do you have this program? I think it's more a question yes. for faculty of arts, right? Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So either this will be presented tomorrow uh, at the presentation, I think it's at 4 p uh, p.m. Okay. Uh, Ruby, uh, now I have- I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this year it's not going to be able to enroll in speech therapy? Yes, uh, because um, we, uh, uh, inside the call of enrollment, we offer only uh, slots for programs for which we also have our uh, graduates from first cycle uh, study program. So this year uh, we don't have uh, the fourth year of speech and language therapy. So we don't offer any slots for a master study program as well. Uh, I, why is that so? Uh, so will maybe the year after that going to be a yeah. chance to? Yes, of course. Okay. 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 Now, uh, if we continue, I would like to present you our student, Seda. Now, Seda, you have to know, was actually a student of our partner, University from Turkey. She came to Erasmus Exchange in Ljubljana and loved it so much that she returned and continued her education on our university. Seda, please. Thank you, Igor, for uh, presenting me. And hello, everyone. I am here to share my experience with you. I came from Turkey, and uh, first time I met with Pedagogica Fakultete by Erasmus Exchange program. Uh, I was I was quite satisfied with the education. Uh, I participated uh, on the program uh, at the last year of my education. I was already studying uh, primary school teacher education bachelor degree in Turkey. Then uh, somehow I found myself that I am asking myself uh, how I want to continue my master degree. And actually I was not sure about my uh, department. I really want to be teacher or not. So thanks to also counseling in our faculty, we have a chance to have uh, free of charge counseling. So uh, you exactly you can write uh, every one every week or every two weeks you can see the counselor and uh, by that way everything can be easier for you to make decisions so uh, i was very afraid of the procedure actually because i came from different departments uh, somehow i came up with social pedagogy master degree i like after a lot of discussion with my professors i was sure that okay i came to the world to study social pedagogy, but okay, how? Then I provided all necessary documents and so on, but I was really nervous because, oh, if there is a recognition problem can appear, you, Turkey is not a European country, uh, so maybe some problems appear and so on. But uh, I provided everything and the uh, Office for uh, Student Affairs and uh, also the Igor and Tina informed me very well, like each steps I learn uh, which document is needed, what should I do, what is the following steps. So when I get information, uh, I was less worried and everything uh, was easier. So two years ago, I studied, I, I started my master here. Now this is my last year and I am um, in the process of writing my master thesis. I passed uh, all exams. And actually my program is Slovenian language as Igor mentioned this uh, Slovenian language. I didn't know even like proper sentence in Slovenian language when I started to master. Then I enrolled to Leta Plus, it's called uh, uh, how to say English, a year plus program. So uh, I was very surprised that whole academic year, there is a chance to learn Slovene free of charge. So I didn't pay anything for the whole year. I learned A1 level of Slovene and also I think uh, A2 level of Slovene because we were studying the book A2 level. So I successfully passed all um, 
the, the I had two uh, exams and I passed them. So I used this ECTS also in order to prolong my study free of charge. So it's uh, like a great combination. Uh, I passed Finnish letter plus, then okay, I can prolong my study because by that time I can learn Slovene better. I can learn also better for the social pedagogy. So I'm very satisfied with uh, with my decision that I prolonged my uh, uh, study and now happily writing my thesis. And okay, uh, I had some obstacles during the lessons because lessons were slow in, but what was good, okay, I didn't understand the lesson, but when I go to professor, okay, professor, uh, I didn't get what you exactly talk and mention. And, uh, she always recommended me or he uh, English sources. So I, I was uh, I was always supported by my professors and my colleagues. They say, Seda, if you don't get the lesson, please tell us, we can study together. After the lessons, my colleagues helped me to understand, like I never felt a language as an obstacle. So, uh, and I, I'm quite surprised because when I share this experience in Turkey with my friends, like said, uh, it is not in English, but it is Slovene, but how did you really manage? And I successfully passed the exams. Just it is understanding of the faculty, openness at the faculty, a lot of support, also psychological support. I, I felt a lot of like, and like kind of depression, okay, I don't understand anything, everything's slowing, maybe I won't be enough, but I got the uh, really support, also psychological support from the faculty, I feel always belong. So, uh, and I get very happy to, uh, happy to join today, I'm so excited. Finally, this is a chance for me to also, uh, explain how I am comfortable and happy with my study. So uh, this is very short time I am with you today, but uh, just in case I would like to share my email with you, the chat you can see, please, please you can ask me anything, any questions regarding my study, uh, like um, accommodation or other stuff, I will be very happy to answer your question. And I'm sorry, I'm very excited today. Maybe I told very bad, but thank you so much. Thank you, Seda. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. So for further information, I kindly ask you to uh, contact these two emails. Uh, the first one is primarily for enrollment procedure. Um, and the second one, if you would like to hear more information about the content on specific uh, degree, and we'll try to answer you, your question as best as possible. Are there any additional questions? Okay. If not, you can always contact us on, on our email addresses provided on the slides. Okay, so thank you, Igor, Tina, Seda, and Trubar. Uh, now uh, we will continue with the presentation of the Academy of Music, but uh, there is a possibility for the, if you have any questions for the Faculty of Education, you can join to the break room. So all those who would like to go to further discuss with colleagues, with Tina, Robert, Seda, and Igor, you can join them uh, in the break room. Uh, Ahmed will help you uh, with the procedure. So uh, now we will go to our academy. As I mentioned before, we have three arts academies. We have Academy of Music, Academy of Fine Arts and Design, uh, Academy of Theatre, Radio, Film and Television. Uh, today joined us uh, representatives from the Academy of Music, Professor Dusan Baudek. He is Professor of Composition and Vice Dean for International Affairs and Quality. Uh, he will present you study possibilities uh, at their academies. And also with us is Ms. Nina Pudlitnik. She's working at the International Office at the Academy of Music. And uh, as you can uh, already know from the name, our Academy of Music offers degree programs in the field of musical arts, music, instrumental, and vocal education. 
So, Professor Baudek and Nina, please, you can share your presentation. Uh, hello, Katya, thank you so much. Uh, um, hello to everyone and warmly welcome to the presentation of the University of Ljubljana Academy of Music. Um, Ahmed, may I kindly ask you to allow me to share my screen? Okay, um, so um, as you know, Slovenia uh, actually has a very unique and very lucky geographical position, um, which is probably good to emphasize also um, uh, if we uh, look from the um, view of music. Uh, it actually allows us to really give to our students a comprehensive synthesis of Slavic, Italian and Germanic music traditions. And yeah, we believe in working hard uh, beyond the talent. Uh, if you believe in music, um, you are thinking of um, applying to right uh, institution. So a few facts in a glance. Um, Academy of uh, Music is uh, the only Slovenian music higher education institution. And as such, it's an institution of national importance. Um, in this very moment, I think we have about 480 students, uh, but this number um, goes between four, 450 and 500 uh, every year. What's very good, very good to know is that uh, we offer three to one student to faculty ratio, which means that students can receive a lot of individual, individual attention and training. Um, just now we have almost 20% of international students. And yeah, there is a hundred years of tradition of music education uh, in Ljubljana. Um, what Katya already mentioned, we offer two bachelor's degree programs with 27 principal studies. We will look at them a little bit later. And there are four master's degree programs, musical arts, instrumental and vocal education, music theory education, and music education. In addition to that, we offer also two non-degree programs introduced lately, and I will emphasize later, especially the uh, preparatory non-degree program, which is offered with the aim to help all the applicants to prepare for the um, entrance examinations. Um, how does our organization of studies looks? Uh, so um, both the bachelor's degree programs uh, are organized after Bologna. Uh, they uh, are three years long. Um, in the first program, there are all the uh, artistic uh, um, principal studies together, like composition, orchestral and con choral conducting, singing, piano, organ, harpsichord, accordion, guitar, harp, violin, viola, cello, double bass, flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, saxophone, horn, trumpet, trombone, tuba, percussion instruments, sacred music, and recorder. And uh, there is another uh, bachelor's degree program called music education. At the secondary level, uh, at the master's level um, of education, uh, the first uh, program, musical arts, split into three uh, uh, different programs. First one called, again, musical arts, with the same 26 principal studies as listed before. And then there are two programs which are dedicated to <coughs> to uh, educate um, later professors and teachers of music. So there is instrumental and vocal education, um, uh, which again brings all the instruments. Um, there are 22 principal studies, but um, as I said, uh, they are um, uh, um, designed to um, uh, educate uh, musical uh, teachers and educators. Then there is music theory education with three principal studies of composition, conducting, and sacred music. Uh, and the bachelor's program 
musical education <clears throat> um, uh, goes uh, later on also at the uh, secondary uh, master's degree level. Uh, so um, all these uh, principal studies uh, are organized uh, in the framework of departments. Well, you can see there are departments of composition, music theory, conducting, voice and opera, keyboard instruments, string instruments, woodwind, brass and percussion, sacred music, early music and music education. Um, besides this uh, principal, uh, principal subjects, um, uh, which are accompanied with the um, subjects of um, music theory, of chamber music, of orchestra or, or choir, um, there are many possible elective courses. I will not read all of them now. You can just see them at a glance, but um, uh, as far as I know, you will get this uh, PowerPoint presentation and you will be able to go through them um, a little bit more in precise. Um, as I just mentioned, uh, we just introduced two new non-degree programs, especially the first one uh, might be interesting for you uh, in this moment. It's called preparatory non-degree program, um, which uh, um, will be opened very soon in March and will provide all the candidates with uh, necessary instrumental and theoretical background and review um, to successfully pass the entrance examinations. Um, so it, it's good to, to, to tell that um, Academy of Music um, of University of Ljubljana has an extremely strong uh, collaboration with all the uh, inst um, national institutions in music. Uh, as Slovenian Philharmonic Orchestra, Radio Symphony Orchestra, Slovenian National Opera and Ballet Theater of Ljubljana and Maribor, uh, with Police Wind Orchestra, with Wind Orchestra of Slovenian Army, and with Slovenian Philharmonic Choir. All of these ensembles actually uh, take part also in our concert season, which means that um, every student has a possibility, of course, if successfully passing the audition, to perform as a soloist with one of these uh, uh, um, orchestras or choirs. Uh, all of these ensembles perform also uh, compositions written by the students of composition and uh, students of conducting can uh, uh, have uh, rehearsals with all of these um, ensembles. So um, I think we can really boast with this fact because non, uh, not many uh, academies in the world actually have so uh, strong relations with, um, uh, the, with such musical institutions. So in, um, in our concert season, um, there are more than 150 concerts. Um, this season is organized in so-called Tutti subscription series. Uh, this Tutti subscription series is dedicated just to um, these orchestras, uh, which I um, just mentioned. Then there is solo at the camera cycle. I think the name of it is actually very informative itself. There are many international exchange concerts um, prepared by different departments. Uh, there are international tours like the international tour of big band or the international tour of the project of mini operas. Um, then there are um, um, special highlights concerts uh, like performing at national celebrations uh, at the Young Euro Classic Festival. Uh, there are opera productions. Um, there is summer school Academia Musica Lavacinsis. So really plenty, plenty of possibilities for the students to show um, what they learn. Um, 
So um, how to come to play with, this, with these ensembles? Um, everybody needs to pass the audition. Um, there are about 10 professors as jury members every year um, who select among the students. It's open for all the students and uh, usually about 20% or even more uh, participate, uh, participate in this audition every year. Um, about 20, perhaps even 25 students per year are chosen then to perform as soloists with these orchestras. Um, and three to five new compositions, um, again, selected by special uh, jury um, are performed uh, by these orchestras. Um, so about admission requirements, um, I think Nina, uh, which I will pass my word very soon, will tell you more. Uh, let me just tell you that um, for the first cycle of uh, programs to enter bachelor studies, you, uh, you need to have a certificate of a secondary music school or a Matura certificate, um, like in Slovenia and Croatia. Um, you need to pass an audition or entrance, entrance examination uh, in your principal subject and also in solfeggio. There are also exceptions um, uh, without Matura. If somebody shows uh, really exceptional talent, then uh, he or she can enter the academ academic st studies already before uh, completing um, secondary level of education. Um, well, perhaps now I would like to pass my words to Nina, which will tell you about all these facts um, more um, in detail. Thank you. So, okay, sorry. Uh, my name is Nina and I work at the International Office of Academy of Music. Um, first of all, I would like to tell you that it's very important to learn how to apply. You will receive this presentation on email and you can check all the um, dates on our website. But the most important key days for the application is uh, in 16th of March, and the audition will be in May. Bushan, can you please forward one list before? And uh, this is the first call, and the second call will be, will be in August. Um, so we, we will post uh, some uh, auditions samples on our website. I strongly recommend to check it. And maybe you can um, ask a professor what does he recommend for your audition. This is a very important thing. And here I would like to emphasize as all our professors, English and uh, Croatian, Serbian language. And um, maybe you can call our tutors, I remember now, because um, they are willing to help. Uh, we also established this year a body program. This means that when you are coming to our academy for the first year and the first, first time, you will, um, one of our students will uh, guide you through our academy and our program. I think this is a very good idea uh, to use it. Um, and uh, uh, can we go forward, please? And this is, these are our dates for master and doctoral degree. I don't know if anyone is here interested in that. Uh, and uh, for, for a um, master will be, um, auditions will be in June and in September, but uh, please check on our website how many uh, students we can accept uh, here. So for, um, uh, what I meant to say that it's very important that you maybe you, you um, that you receive uh, our um, 
that sorry when you come to our academy and you are um, accepted it's very important that you try to apply for dormitory as soon as possible because there is uh, not many um, uh, spaces for um, foreign students uh, in Ljubljana, you can find some private accommodation rooms. Uh, we have an international office for student organization and you can write there. For this year, maybe it's not so uh, not such, such a big issue because of COVID, but years before it was quite difficult to rent a room in Ljubljana. So after four, I, I forward, I write some practical information, but I can send you all this on email. Maybe it's better that you ask any questions because we still have some 10 minutes maybe left. Is there any question? Okay, Nina, maybe you can explain us a little bit about uh, test of abilities uh, which uh, candidates has to go uh, before enrollment. Um, you, uh, you mean the auditions or? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, maybe this Professor Baudek will explain <laughs> much more uh, precise. Okay. Well, uh, in this year, uh, first term of entrance examinations or auditions will take place on 21st of May. Um, uh, how does it look like? Uh, every student needs uh, to uh, pass first uh, the entry examina entrance examination of his or her principal study of his or her main subject, which is uh, instrument or composition or conducting or so on. Um, uh, all of them will need to pass also um, entrance examination in solfeggio and uh, music theory. Um, uh, some specific studies demand uh, to have also entrance examination in uh, piano, like uh, piano as um, uh, secondary instrument, like uh, composition, uh, conducting. Uh, that's it. Um, uh, the results of, um, um, uh, of uh, uh, who passed the exams, are, are uh, publicized uh, usually in the mid of July. Um, second term of uh, entrance examination uh, takes place uh, around 10th of uh, September. Uh, and the, the um, procedure is just as I uh, already told you is the same. Uh, the results are known um, quite soon um, or in September already, um, quite soon after this uh, second term of entrance examination. Okay, thank you, Professor Bauda. Uh, okay, here we have Alexandra is ex uh, asking that you would like to know how many pieces does she has to play for percussion? percussion. Um, well, uh, I would like to kindly ask you, Alexandra, to just visit our website because uh, there is uh, everything published. Um, uh, how, um, how many pieces I actually don't know precisely for um, every instrument in particular, but you will find there um, everything needed. Um, what, what kind of compositions, uh, how many of them, uh, everything is there. Maybe, uh, Professor Bau, that you can also explain us. I know that you also offer many summer school courses uh, in the summertime. So this is probably also not only musician, well, how to say, uh, professional musicians uh, can join us, but also some amateurs. Maybe you can also present this information just shortly. Uh, yeah, yes, of course. So, um, this year we organize a seventh uh, round of um, um, summer uh, school um, Academia Musica Lavatensis uh, school and festival. Um, this year there are um, um, courses in uh, opera, 
of um, performance and creation, which is dedicated to um, young singers, to uh, young composers. Um, we will offer some places also for conductors and directors. Um, we uh, invited um, highest level of world professionals as uh, Bernarda Fing, as uh, Susan Bickley from uh, Royal Opera Covent Garden. Uh, there will be Stephen McNeff from Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Um, and of course, uh, our colleagues, um, uh, uh, Simon Vorshak. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot also of An Ondras Almasitot, uh, director of um, Hungarian State Opera. There will be Rock, uh, our former um, artistic director of Ljubljana Opera, um, and some more uh, of our colleagues. Then there are uh, um, courses in uh, trumpet, in um, violin, viola, uh, and cello. There is a course in organ, uh, in uh, art song, um, and guitar. Um, I hope I haven't missed uh, any of them. So uh, uh, our website will be published in a few days uh, till the end of this week. And um, warmly welcome to, to visit it and to um, find some more details. Okay, thank you. Also, we will publish on the central website information about all our academies and faculty summer school courses. Now, here we have a question uh, for you. Uh, Una is asking, in which languages are subjects? Um, well, um, main, uh, um, main subject like guitar can be taught in um, certainly in, in uh, um, English or in Croatian Serbian language. Uh, it might uh, be uh, done also in some other languages, but it depends on the professor, of course. Um, and uh, here I uh, read a question about uh, if one needs to have a pass in harmony and solfeggio um, for enrollment. Well, yes, unfortunately, yes. Uh, all the uh, foreign students need to, uh, to do both, uh, main subject and also solfeggio. But there is not, uh, there is not any harmony uh, in, involved, only solfeggio. Also, we have a question uh, about a candidate who is studying bassoon at the University of Mexico, and she's interested for transfer. Maybe you can explain this procedure. Um, so um, you would like to, try to, to end to entry a secondary level, I mean, master level of studies, level of studies, or uh, just um, to, to come here to like second year of studies or something like that. Um, Maybe Miss uh, Vega, could you please explain this if you are still here? Okay, here there are some new messages. No, I don't see it. Okay, you can contact directly to this email address. It's Nina listed uh, for more information and they will provide you uh, more detailed information. I also see here some question, just, aha, uh, uh -huh. opera production. I don't know, I think we didn't answer this right. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe Professor Dushan will answer this because this is his uh, filed Dushan small production opera. Um, uh -huh. Well, yeah, um, so there are actually two possibilities um, concerning opera production. Um, in the um, um, process of um, uh, studies, we offer to all the composers and also later conductors uh, to, in, to uh, uh, and singers, sorry, as well, to be involved in so-called mini operas project. Every, uh, this is a triennial project. Every three, three years, we organize a special masterclass dedicated to, to this area. Uh, so uh, students um, attend first this masterclass. They connect with the uh, students of uh, Academy of Radio, Film and Television uh, and make 
so-called creative pairs, namely the students of um, uh, Academy of Theater uh, write librettos and our composers write uh, 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 music. Uh, so uh, they have about um, 10 months to finish their work. And at the end, uh, this production of mini operas uh, is presented not only in Slovenia, but it always uh, go also on international tour. Well, another option is of course to visit this um, opera masterclass uh, in the framework of, um, of summer school, which I mentioned earlier. Okay, then we also have a question uh, from Serbia. Uh, they have graduation in July and they would like to, they, uh, so Valentina, she's taking bachelor degree. And uh, so if she has examination in June, can she apply for master studies in June if she graduate later in July? Um, I think this is possible, but uh, uh, I can I cannot check because call for enrollment it's not published yet. Maybe I can I can send directly to you, Professor Bauda, this question. Maybe it would be easier. Well I can actually see it. Well, see it? Um, okay. I, su I suppose uh, you can, of course, apply for master studies and you can expect uh, the entrance examination in its second term, which will be in the, be in the beginning of September. Uh, now, if, sorry. Yeah. Uh, if there are um, uh, free uh, places, then, um, well, it's uh, it should be no problem. And there usually is also possibility to to enter all, um, also in the autumn. Okay, here's also a question. If uh, are we going to organize entrance exam online or it will be only face-to-face? -face? Yeah, this is of course very accurate question. Uh, in the last year, we needed to organize entrance examination online. In this year, uh, we will do as much as possible to organize normal examinations in live but we will see uh, about the development of pandemics and please just follow our website uh, to see uh, about um, the final result. Just a second, let me check if there is any other question. I think there is no other questions. So, uh, if any of you would like to have more individual uh, conversation with Professor Baudek and Nina, you can go now to the breakout room. Uh, if you have any uh, problems, you can contact Ahmed or technical support, and they will help you uh, how to uh, enter the uh, breakout room. Now I would like to thank you to Professor Baudek and Nina for uh, their detailed uh, presentation. And of course, I would like to invite you all uh, to apply uh, to our degree programs. Uh, for those who uh, joined us later, uh, application just started today. Uh, it was opened. You can find it on our website, Study Ula, or at the ministry website. Application is open for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs. Uh, you should follow uh, application periods. We have different application periods for bachelor, uh, for uh, citizen, for candidates who are coming from EU and for those who are coming from non EU countries. Uh, so at our website, you can find all the information and uh, also important, even if you did not finish your secondary school or bachelor master degree, uh, you can apply now and uh, you will send us uh, documents later. So uh, now we are starting with our, uh, in two minutes, we are starting with uh, next presentation. Uh, now, uh, it will be presented our Faculty of Computer and Information Science, um, uh, where the principal activity is that they offer uh, computer science professionals in uh, various profiles. 
Uh, with us is uh, Vesna Grachner. Uh, she is head of international office at the Faculty of Computer and Information Science, and she will present you study possibilities uh, at their faculty. Uh, also, we have Alesh Smoni Garniak. Uh, he will be available to answer you any question during our presentation. So, so you can already uh, send him any uh, question in the chat section. And also Elena Naidova and Leonida Bumborowska, they are both students at their faculties. Uh, and uh, they will share with you their experience. And of course, you can also ask them um, during presentation any question you have. So, Vesna, maybe you can already share your presentation. I can't, yeah, thank you, I will. I hope you can see it now. Yes, it is okay. Maybe just uh, if you go to the full screen, yes, okay. great. So, uh, hello. Good afternoon, my name is Vesna and I'm the head of the International Office at the Faculty of Computer Science. Today with me is also Alesh Gonyak Smomik and uh, two students who, will, um, who are studying at our faculty. Uh, today's presentation will be in two parts. One, the basic part is my presentation. Uh, the second part is actually Q&A section where you will be able to um, ask questions to our students or just to ask questions regarding the procedures um, to me or to others. So first of all, our uh, faculty uh, has 170 employees and 1,500 students. Uh, we are a senior accredited uh, faculty, which I will explain uh, about that later. We established in 1996, as before, we were together with the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and in 1996, we split, so we have now our own faculty. Uh, we actually are in the new premises, which where we moved uh, here in 2014. As you see in pictures, we have a beautiful building and, um, and classes and surrounding. Um, as I already said, we have approximately 1,500 students enrolled each year and uh, more than 5,000 graduates up to now. What I would like to emphasize is uh, our alumni and, and actually uh, to brag how successful we are. Uh, we have uh, quite successful alumni and one of uh, our um, most successful student is Marinka Zitnik. She actually finished her PhD studies uh, at our faculty and now she is a professor at Harvard University in uh, machine learning. Then we have Jure Leskovets. Uh, he's also our graduate, and he is now working as a professor at Stanford University. And most of you probably know Talking Tom. Uh, Talking Tom is an app um, on mobile phone um, and for kids, and it's worldwide known. And the founders of uh, that Talking Tom are uh, actually graduates from our faculty. There are Isa and Sam Ovalin next uh, on the right corner. Okay, so to explain something about our study programs, we offer three, level, three levels of programs. So first of all, I will explain about undergraduate pro programs, which we offer at computer science department. Our programs are three years long. So this means uh, you have three years of um, undergraduate programs and program. And if you want to continue your study on master level, you can then uh, take two uh, years long master and of course later on uh, PhD studies. Mm, we have two our basic programs which are computer information science professional study program and computer information science academic program. And then we have uh, also three other programs which are um, held with other faculties within the University of Ljubljana of course. And one is multimedia which is held with the Faculty of Electronical Engineering one is administrative uh, information system uh, systems hold uh, held with the faculty of uh, uh, administrative um, faculty of yeah, um, sciences, and uh, one is with the faculty of mathematics and faculty of physics. First, I will just explain about our two basic um, 
programs and what is actually the difference between two of them. So one is a university study program and one is the professional study program. Um, first of all, we have enrollment slots for third countries. This means for Balkan or for outside of EU. We have 15 slots for each of them. So 15 for university and 15 for the professional study program. Um, last year, the limitation was 100% of uh, points on both of the programs. This means that students who were enrolled, they, they got, they had 100% uh, of points. So in this case, it also means that um, if, there, if, you have, if you have only 15 slots and I don't know, 20 people applies and it is 20 people, they all have 100% uh, of points, they will all be selected. Um, so who can apply, apply? This is also one difference between these two programs. Uh, for the university study program, you can apply with final exam and uh, with vocational exam, plus that you have to uh, pass these courses in computer science or mathematics or in physics. Uh, in professional study program, you can apply with final exam or with vocational exam, but not any extra course. Uh, the difference is also with the uh, limitation in enrollments, how the points are calculated and how do we calculate um, the, the enrollment uh, points. But I will not go to details because I think this is quite uh, too much information for you today. Um, and what is actually the content uh, difference between two of them? Uh, the university study is more academic, the professional is more professional. This means that in university study, you get more um, strong basic knowledge in um, obligatory courses and basic courses. And you have more strong knowledge to go to a master level. But that doesn't mean that in professional level, you cannot enter the, on the master program. It only means that the, the level of knowledge you have, it's a little bit higher than uh, on the professional level. Um, what is the difference is also that in professional study program, as you see on the right side, in the third year, you have uh, obligatory industrial practice. This means that in the third year, you, you will be able, you have to go to, um, to do a practice or internship uh, for 10 weeks at some company, this is obligatory. Um, what is also the difference that in uh, university study program, and as you see in, on the left side, you have more obligatory courses and only in the third year you have modules from which you can choose and um, more elective courses. But in professional study programs, you, you already start with this more specialized elective courses in the second year. So it's, it is uh, more up to you. What would, would you like to choose? What would you like to study? So now I will explain the interdisciplinary programs. As I already mentioned, they are held with uh, other faculties in the computer science and mathematics is with the faculty of mathematics and physics. Uh, the enrollment slots we have for third countries are four and for the EU there are 14. Uh, the last year there was no limitation for the first wish, you know, you have three wishes to apply, but for the second and third wish there was 97% of points um, needed to, to be accepted. Um, what is important here is that um, it is actually half of the courses are held in computer science and I don't know half in mathematics. Uh, and um, to enroll, it's good to have a good, um, I mean, to, it's good to know that there will be a lot of mathematics and you need to be quite strong in that. Um, and of course, in the first and the second year, there are many obligatory courses. So that means that only elective courses will be in the third year. So it's quite a fixed program. Uh, who can apply? You can apply with the final exam or with vocational exam. And with, for vocational exam, you have to um, take an extra course of mathematics. Uh, interdisciplinary program with uh, faculty of electrical engineering is multimedia. We have uh, five uh, enrollment slots for third countries and 34 EU. Uh, the limitation last year was again 100% of points. This means you need to have uh, average grade like A. 
um, who can apply. You can again apply as uh, with final exam or with vocational exam and with another course. Mm, this is also a program which has like two thirds of obligatory courses. And again, courses are from the Faculty of Computer Science and uh, the Faculty of Electrical Engineering. So I hope um, when you'll be in Ljubljana, you will have like, uh, I don't know, two days at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and two days or three days at the Faculty of Computer Science. So you will not be able to, you will not go in the same day to uh, the other faculty that uh, it will be feasible. Um, the next one is public administrative system. Systems we have, uh, uh, it was again limited enrollment in the last year and uh, enrollment slots we have are four for such countries and 25 for EU. Um, it's again obli obligatory courses are in the first and the second year and in, in the third you can choose some uh, elective course and um, finalize it with diploma thesis. Who can apply? You can apply with final exam or with vocational exam plus take an extra um, exam. Okay, now we will continue with the master programs. The master, as I already mentioned, is a two-year program. Uh, we offer actually one or two basic programs. And the other courses or programs are with other faculties. There are actually... A, second level or upgraded level of undergraduate studies. And the deadline for master is in August, but the call is not yet published. Mm. So of the computer science, we have two tracks. One is basic computer information science track, and one is data science track, track which I will explain later. Um, uh, the enrollments lost for th third countries are eight and for um, uh, Slovene or EU are 72. 72. Um, usually we have uh, um, the enrollment exam, which is held in September. Uh, the limitation in the last year was, this was an average, which is because it's calculated from the average grades and the points from the exam. So the average grade for, from GPA is, was 7.31. And from the exam, it was three out of 10 points maximum for the exam. Um, who can apply? To this study program, you can apply if you finished, of course, computer science on any, uh, any programs with uh, related fields like mathematics, physics, electrical, engineering, and so on. Um, and master program is actually more up to you what would you like to study because in the first level, in the first year, we only have mathematics as obligatory courses and then everything is more or less up to you. Because in the first year and the second, you have models where you can choose from. And of course, in the end, you, you finalize it with the master's thesis. Uh, what is important or maybe interesting for you is that you can um, take courses that all study, whole study program can be taught in English. This means that mathematics is obligatory this obligatory course is held in English. And then if you take uh, some modules or um, elective courses in English, you can like take whole class or whole program in English in the end. And the other, our basic program is data science track. It's, uh, it's uh, next year it will be the third, um, the third, one, third year of this program. Yes, and this one is completely in English. And um, actually here, uh, the courses are um, more are mandatory. Some are also elective courses. It is uh, really a high level of, uh, of the studies. So for this one, you will really have to study hard to, to pass it. Um, what was the limitation for last year? Of course, it was the entrance exam, the same for, as for the uh, computer science track. And the average point was, uh, the average grade was 7.35 and the um, points from the exam were five out of 10. And we have eight enrollment uh, slots for outside EU and 18 for EU and Slovenia. Who can apply? It's the same as for the 
uh, computer science track uh, to graduates in the related field, but they should be, it's advised to be strong in data science because the master is really on a high level. So uh, it's quite important. For this program, um, there is a pre-enrollment, um, how do we say test or, or interview or something like that. And the deadline is until April 12th. Um, it's just to uh, to get to know each other and to see that uh, to see that uh, if you are um, up to that or not, and they will advise you uh, what to do next. Otherwise, the dates are the same as for computer science track. That means in the that in the end of August. Then we have uh, uh, computer science and mathematics, the same as on the um, undergraduate level. Of course, held with the Faculty of Mathematics and Physics. Physics. Um, there were th we have a three enrollment slots and thirty-three for EU candidates. Um, you can apply if you graduated in computer science, mathematics, pedagogical mathematics, statistics, uh, and physics. In case of selection, uh, we will um, check your bachelor study GPA, which will be fifty percent of the whole selection grade, and fifty percent from the selection exam uh, result. And here is the same. Uh, and with that, I mean that you have only two mandatory courses. Everything else is uh, elective, so you can choose um, by uh, what you prefer. For the multimedia, we have also the second level, the master program. Um, we have three enrollment slots for storage countries and 30 for EU countries. Um, in the first and uh, in the first year, we have six mandatory courses. Of course, they are divided to three and to to for A to both of the faculties. And uh, as the as, as for the elective course, the students can choose from both faculties. There are some limitations, but but yeah, mostly from both. Um, who can apply? Actually, of course, the graduates of computer science and multimedia and electrical engineering. Probably most of you, I'm joking, will also go to doctoral programs, uh, which we have. We have two, one is uh, computer science and the other is uh, biosciences, but this is just to mention. Uh, we are a seen accredited institution. That means that we received uh, confirmation or accreditation from the German ASIN group. This means that um, our uh, undergraduate and master programs are like officially recognized by this ins institution. Um, just to say something not regarding the just courses, uh, our students have a lot of opportunities like to cooperate with the industry, with companies. We have a student garage. It's not a garage where you park a car, but it's a garage where it's like a student accelerator. Um, so if you have, I don't know, any idea on um, do a certain project or, uh, and you get a mentor like a professor from our faculty and uh, you might get also some funds to, I don't know, to buy some hardware or something like that. And then you can uh, work in that free garage um, office on your own project. So quite, I think one or two of them were really su successful um, projects. We offer also student challenges, like companies, um, they offer some challenges and then the, you can work on that. Of course, in, in industrial practice, as it was mentioned for the third year of um, professional study. And you can also work on projects in laboratories. We have 19 laboratories. Um, these are just the basic uh, topics. You can go in the laboratory maybe to join some projects or if you know that they have something interesting, interesting for you, just you know, contact them, and uh, they will be probably interested to hear about that. Um, our faculty has, of course, uh, quite strong international collaboration. Collaboration. And this means with uh, research projects and with the exchange uh, networks. We deal with, uh, we cooperate with. Uh, uh, actually whole world, as you can see, 180 um, institutions. What is, um, again, maybe interesting for um, students is 
we can have uh, study exchanges because we are in our own well, channel. I thought Erasmus Plus uh, network. Mommy, we can channel. Didi, with uh, South Korean um, uh, faculty, and then we have a double degree with uh, Technical University of Graz. These two are quite popular because if you uh, finish the um, one year or one semester abroad, it depends on the program, you can get another de degree. This means like if you get, go to uh, study one year or one semester to Technical University of Graz, you finish their one semester of courses and of course some, some extra courses as well. And then uh, write a master's thesis with uh, two mentors from our faculty and from um, uh, faculty uh, from Graz. And then in the end, you get two degrees, which is just quite interesting. And um, also for when you will apply for jobs, it will be, you know, like one plus point for you in the end. Um, we offer also internships in our laboratories and you can also do an internship via Erasmus group or um, we will probably have uh, summer schools in the following years during the um, summer time as well. So that is all from my side. Uh, you can find me on, uh, on our website and you can write me to this email. Um, if you have any question now, or do we have Katya, any questions now open? Uh, no, at the moment we do not have any questions. So maybe you can procedure with, uh, with presentation and then open questions. Okay, I will just, if anyone has questions, just please write. In yeah. The, yeah. Uh, we will also have later a breakout room where you'll be able to just like informally talk with our students, with Elena and Leonida. Uh, and, uh, we will try not to interfere. <laughs> okay, I will just uh, um, I'll show you now my um, uh, my uh, our website. I hope you can see it now. You can, Katya? Yeah, with my yeah. okay, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just explain where to find information. Maybe it's uh, sometimes confusing. Uh, so, like for education, is more many interesting information you can find here, like about the study courses, how to apply, how to apply as international student, deadlines. Everything is actually written here. Maybe I'm too fast. <laughs> Um, so you see undergraduate, master and doctoral programs. And on the right side, there's a prospective students website. And here you have actually, if you go down, you have uh, deadlines and then you have information brochures for foreign students. In these brochures, there is, I will open one just to see what you have in, in them. Uh, so you have like basic information from the faculty uh, and then some um, some messages from our students on what is the, the, the study about, what is the, this particular uh, program about. Uh, you have also um, course li list written here. Um, the double degree programs are written here. Actually, everything was explained in my presentation. Now, what is also important? Okay. Um, maybe some of you are also interested to do uh, an exchange at our faculty. So, as I showed you, I hope you saw. Um, there is an international study exchange website. Here we have everything like about exchanges, with who we have bilateral agreements with. So maybe if you're already study, uh, studying on the undergraduate level, you can check here uh, if your university has an agreement with us. And then you can just join uh, and visit us first for the, for the study exchange. And maybe later you go to study like a master or a PhD. Um, these are just basic information. And of course, the course list, uh, which courses we offer in uh, English, but this is the course list only for Erasmus students. So don't don't just check on that if you're if you would like to study um, on a full time level. 
So I think. Uh, Is Naomi have some questions? Maybe okay. yeah. So uh, one was asking uh, about uh, subjects required uh, for applying. I checked call for enrollment, uh, and uh, here I can see that there are no specific subjects required. You are just uh, looking for general success uh, at Matura and success in third and fourth year, right? It depends on which study program is he okay. applying, and also if um, it depends what he or she has finished, like if. Uh, in Slovenia, we have gymnasia and high school, you know, like gymnasia is uh, more basic, I don't know, uh, but the level, level of knowledge is higher, but uh, for high school, uh, it's more professional and for those professionals, you usually need vocational matura. Am I yeah, but you do not require any specific subject, right? For? Uh, for, the, for the enrollment into program. It depends on the- It depends on the program. Yeah, for the program. If we, ha if we have a candidate who is applying for the university study program and has co completed a vocational matura, then he should pass an additional pro uh, subject. And one of the subjects should be, I don't know, mathematics, computer and information science or physics. Okay, that I mean with, um, we mean that, that like if you are in a high school of, uh, electronics engineering high school uh, and you you finish your high school with vocational matura and then you need um, this uh, extra exam in this case okay we also have questions sorry uh, uh, now we have a few questions here about uh, master thesis uh, Liana is asking if she has to write two different master thesis during the study exchange in order to get the two certificates. Uh, Liana, you're probably thinking about double degrees. Yes, we were. Yeah, okay, maybe it's not. Yeah, the answer. double degrees, uh, you need to do, um, you have two mentors and uh, you actually finish uh, this final thesis uh within two of the universities otherwise no okay i send you all uh links to application where you can apply uh then uh we also have questions just a second um so we have a candidate uh who would like to apply for master studies multimedia with slovenian citizenship uh, she would like to get consultation. Uh, she will have 24, uh, 240 ECTS at the end of her studies, and sh uh, she could go to two year studies program at FRAE, right? Alish? I think yes, because it's. Yeah, I think so too. Because you need a minimum of 180 ECTS. Uh, in the case that uh, one of the candidates mentioned, so regarding the four-year study program, if she wants to continue her studies on our master study program, she would have to enroll in the first study year, but we could acknowledge some of the subjects that she has passed in the, uh, on her previous study program. Okay, here are questions regarding recognition of foreign education. Uh, so you can apply even if you do not have already finished Natura or diploma, uh, you will receive uh, a letter which documents you have to send for recognition uh, and you can send it after you, you finish your studies. Here is a question uh, for Vesna Alares. Uh, do you have any extra exams uh, at, our, at your faculty? For the undergraduate studies, no, there is no selection exam. Selection exam is only for master studies in case of limited enrollment. Yeah, uh, and there was also a question. Uh, we are expecting that call for enrollment uh, uh, for master and doctoral studies will be published, uh, we hope, by the end uh, of this month. So follow our uh, website. Uh, here's also a question about uh, apply, a possibility to apply. 
uh, to uh, different programs, uh, you can apply to three different programs at one application. Um, okay, I, th I think that uh, now we are a little bit short on time. Uh, maybe all those, uh, Vesna, you, you wanted uh, to include student yeah. impression here or at the break room? In the break room, because I think it's best that, you know, students or candidates can add students by themselves and it will be more informal so they can chat there. Yeah, I agree. So uh, I would suggest that all of those who are interested for individual uh, conversation and to continue uh, with Vesna, Lesh and um, Elena and Leonida. Uh, you can join now uh, to the break room. Uh, Ahmed will help you if you will have any problems. You can uh, send him, uh, uh, you can write to him or to Ula support. Uh, I would like to thank you all for your presentation. Oh, maybe just, uh, I just remember one thing. Uh, I got during, uh, when you were applying to this presentation, there were some questions regarding fees. Uh, who has to pay fee? And I think that there was some misunderstanding or uh, you got some um, incorrect information uh, regarding multimedia studies. So maybe this now you will correct me. Uh, as far as I know, multimedia has the same conditions as all other programs, right? They do not have to pay fee if they're coming from EU countries, from countries with which Slovenia has bilateral agreement. This is Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Kosovo, uh, and Montenegro and North Macedonia. Uh, so this is valid, nevertheless, uh, it's not uh, required that you pay for this program, right? Yes, it's true. Yeah, okay. So thank you all and uh, please go to the break room where uh, you can uh, continue uh, with the discussion. Uh, now we are going to the, our next presentation uh, by <laughs> my colleagues from Faculty of Social Sciences already joined us. Um, our Faculty of Social Sciences uh, offers uh, undergraduate, master and doctoral uh, degree programs. Uh, so today uh, are with us Moitza Bergant uh, Dražetic, Dražetic, sorry. She's head of uh, Students Affair Office. Also uh, joined us Jelena Kovacic. She's student at the Faculty of Social Sciences. And there is also Zarika Stoiver Boschek. She's available. If you have any questions, you can write in the chat during the presentation. So Moitza, you can start with your presentation. Thank you very much, Katya. So yes, hello and warmly welcome to the presentation of the social sciences. I hope we can hear each other, that everything is okay, good. So as Katya said, my name is Moitza Bergan Dražetic and with me is our student, uh, Jelena Kovacic, and she will tell you later on about her experience to study abroad, more specifically at our faculty. My colleague Zarika will try to answer your questions during this presentation. Otherwise, we'll just join in the breakout room and try to answer all your questions. So um, I would like to begin with a simple question. What are your wishes? Why are you with us today? So do you want to change the world? Our professors talk about how social scientists can change the world in the following video. It's in Slovene language, but it's subtitled in English. So this is just two minutes to begin with. Živimo v času silovitega tehnološkega napredka. Naravoslovje in tehnične vede nas opremljajo znanji, ki dramatično spremenjajo naše družbe. Pogovarjamo se o poneverjenju vsebin, kot so deepfake, pogovarjamo se o fake news, pogovarjamo se o umetni inteligenci. O odelovanju svetovne politike, o vprašanjih nacionalne in mednarodne varnosti. Od izobraževalnega sistema pa do družin. Danes živimo v času naraščajočih, velikih in naraščajočih družbenih neenakostev. To se pozna na poslovnem področju, to se pozna na tehnološkem področju, to se pozna na političnem področju. Človek je naravno bitje, ki pa živi v svoji kulturi. 
Zato brez kvalitetnega, družboslovnega in humanističnega znanja človeštvo kot celota preprosto nima prihodnosti. Fakulteta za družbene vede je največja družboslovna fakulteta v Sloveniji. Je fakulteta, ki ponuja znanje na različnih družboslovnih področjih. Dala mi je urodja za poročevanje družbenih sprememb in znanje za iskanje alternativ z področja družbenega razvoja. Imamo izvrstne profesorje, raziskave, mednarodne reference, aktivnosti v mednarodnem prostoru. Ko profesorica delim s študante sva spoznanja o tem, kar me v družbi navdušuje, pa tudi to, kar me zelo skrbi v današnje družbe. Ne gre pozabiti, da Fakulteta za družbene vede domuje v modernejših prostorih, ki študentom omogočajo tudi na ta način kvalitetno in poglobljeno delo. Radovednost je nekaj brezčesar ni dobrih družb in zagotovo je radovednost nekaj brezčesar seveda ni kvalitetnega študija družboslovja in humanistike. So, what do we offer? As it was said in the video, we are the largest social science faculty in Slovenia and one of the largest um, in Europe. Interdisciplinarity can be found in various programs within the social science field, but also in the inclusion of other fields, such as foreign languages, information literacy, and legal and economic content. Um, at our faculty, you will work with world-renowned lecturers, you'll be able to study at the Central Social Science Library, and our faculty also has its own research institute. There are many professional services who will work with you and for you during your studies, such as our student affairs office, where I'm from. You will handle your registration, exams, and other things with us. And then there's our international office, where you'll find all information about possibility to study abroad, even if you're an exchange, or international student, I'm sorry, you will find um, various opportunities to spend one semester or even a whole year abroad, because um, we have more than 240 signed agreements in Erasmus Plus program to go and study abroad, and 40 from other universities outside European Union. Um, we have a really strong tutoring system at our faculty, and a special group of student tutors are there only for international students. Once you come to the faculty, you'll get all the help they can give you to help you to feel comfortable in the new environment. They organize informal meetings and also help you with things connected with studies. Later on, our student Jelena will tell you about tutors and she will also tell you more about student associations, but I can't really pass by that because we have 14 active, active student associations at our faculty. Um, every program has at least one. And as our students say, they are integral part of networking at the faculty. We all hope that uh, coronavirus won't stop us to come back to the faculty or at least in autumn time when you come. So you'll be able to study at our modern lecture halls but besides the big halls we have, there is also plenty of room for social gatherings and more informal meetings at our faculty. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time for me to go into details for all our programs that we offer, but I, would, I will try to tell you more about our bachelor, master and PhD program. So we offer 11 different bachelor programs. Um, you can see enrollment place, places um, in the brackets. As you see, we have two different types of enrollment places. One are for EU uh, citizens and the other ones are for non-EU citizens. So uh, it, on the bachelor level, we offer programs social informatics, media and communication studies, um, communication studies connected with marketing communication and public relations. Then we have cultural studies, international relations, journalism, defense studies, two kinds of political science. One is called public policies and administration, and the other one studies of politics and the state. 
Then we also have two kinds of sociology. One is more analytical and the other one is connected with human resource management. Um, here I have to stress the importance that all programs are taught in Slovene language. But don't worry, because you can apply to year plus, as it was said in the beginning of this presentation today. Um, please read about it. What, what does it offer? It offers you to learn Slovene language besides studying. Um, so, but I have to say that one of our programs has, um, has the, in one of our programs, you have to demonstrate knowledge of the Slovenian language before you enroll, and that is the journalism. Um, so each bachelor program is a three-year study program that brings specific employment competences, and it's followed by a two-year more in-depth study at the master level. So you will gain 180 ECT points, plus if you continue on master level, 120 ECT points. Um, because there are some of you who are interested in master studying programs as well, as I saw from your um, applications to this presentation today, uh, I will go and tell you more about master programs as well. But again, we don't have time to go in depth into each program, so I will answer all your questions later on connected to each or different programs. So um, next year, uh, we will start implementing renewed two-year long study program, master programs that uh, have a general enrollment condition in a completed three year undergraduate study program. So you have to have 180 ECT points, but it's really necessary for you to take a good look at the conditions of each program. You will find all those information on our website. Uh, out of 12 different master programs that we offer, you know, um, in four programs, courses will be taught in English language, and those programs are social informatics, European studies, international relations, and political science, political, political theory, global and strate strategic studies. Um, then here are the rest of the other programs that will be taught in Slovene language. But um, I would like to invite you, if you have special questions about master studies at our faculty, please write to this email address and we will answer directly to you uh, if we can't find answer here today afterwards. Um, hereby, I would like to invite you also to our information base for master study programs. They will take place on May the 12th at 4 p.m. For now, we don't know what the situation in May will be like, but I kind of think that we will have information days both online and hopefully as well at our faculty. But you will get all the information about um, the program on our webpage. Um, then pretty much the same information as for master program goes to our uh, doctoral study programs or PhD study program. We have 30 different programs. That's why you can see I can't go into details for each and every one of them. So just please write to this email address and ask if you have any questions regarding our PhD programs. Here are all the other ones. Um, so more information, as I said, on this email address, but um, also for PhD programs, we'll have a special information day um, and it will take place a week after master studying programs on May the 19th, also at 4 p.m. at our faculty. All the information will be published on our webpage when time comes to closer to May. Um, so here are all the uh, addresses that um, you can, where you can reach us. Please write an email to us. We will, of course, try to answer your questions um, already today. Um, I think it's enough of information from my side right now because uh, I would like to give word to one of our students. So I'm happy to announce my guest today. This is Jelena Kovacic. She's a student or a three a student of a third year of the Bachelor Program of International Relations at our faculty, and she comes from abroad. So a few years ago, she was in pretty much the same situation as you are today. Um, Jelena, please tell us how it was when you decided to study in Slovenia and how do you feel about that decision today? 
Lee. Greetings for everyone from my side as well. Um, as already said, my name is Jelena Kovacevic. I'm 20 years old and I'm a student of the third year of international relations. Actually, I didn't plan to study in Slovenia. The decision was a product of one amazing experience I had. Um, I had a plan to study in Belgrade, but in 2017, while I was still a secondary student, secondary school student, I was a participant of one of the summer schools Faculty of Social Sciences organizes every year. Academia Estiva Internacionalis Summer School. And as a fun fact, now I'm a project manager in the organizing team of the Mansion Summer School. Um, so I'm active in that field as well. Uh, that was also my first time to visit Slovenia, even though my grandma was Slovenian. But actually after I spent amazing seven days in Ljubljana, also visiting the Faculty of Social Sciences because we had lectures there, um, because of the summer school itself, the content, the people I met and Ljubljana city, everything that made me think of coming to Ljubljana to study international relations. There was also a foreign student of international relations from Macedonia, Ilina, my good friend uh, nowadays. And actually she helped me with the first um, information I, I, I got, first information I got. So actually I went to uh, student affairs office to ask about conditions for the enrollment and they directed me what to do next. Uh, by the way, uh, when you um, start your, um, one of your programs in Ljubljana, you will see that everyone in student affairs office is always very kind and they will try to answer all their questions and try to find solutions for everything. So um, I went back home and I started learning the Slovenian language as soon uh, as I could. And I think that helped me a lot um, after. Uh, there are different ways to do it as well uh, for any other language. Uh, unfortunately, there is not a lot of language applications for Slovenian, but you can start writing a journal as I did or do something similar, or you can just start the course of Slovenian language before you come here. When I moved to Ljubljana, there was an already mentioned course, uh, Year Plus. Uh, it's organized by University of Ljubljana and it's free of charge. And I strongly recommend you to attend this course. It will help you a lot, uh, especially with writing, which you will have actually to use for different assignments later on. So start um, learning Slovenian language as soon as possible. I'm actually both pointing out the language component, uh, component that much because you will definitely have to use it uh, in your interaction for different assignments. At the end, you will have to attend classes and study for exams. I also made a lot of Slovenian friends and I'm very happy because of it. Um, foreign students sometimes group themselves regarding the sim similarities of the countries they come from, the language or cultural similarities, and they do not interact that much with uh, Slovenian students. My advice is not to do that, be open-minded and get to know every classmate. It will be easier to work in pairs. You will make new friends and get incorporated in the group. Um, one of the things uh, that was already mentioned, but I would also, li uh, I would also like to um, point it out is that Faculty of Social Sciences also offers a lot of extracurricular activities. There are numerous organizations and societies Usually at the beginning of the October, we also celebrate the so-called Day of Faculty Societies when all active organizations are presented. Uh, in, when I came to Ljubljana, I became a member of Model United Nations Slovenia Club, MUN, maybe some of you have heard for it. Um, I'm also still their member and I became um, part of uh, some uh, other organizations as well. So my advice is to take this chance and expand your fields of interest by becoming a member of one of them. Um, all of them are also very useful and connected with some of the areas you will study. It is also another way to make uh, new friends, but still my advice is to make the faculty and regular obligations is your priority. The end of the first semester comes fast and I must admit it's not very easy to hold everything together at the moment. So study from the beginning of the semester, but also do some extracurricular activities. You will also get student tutors as well as tutors from the academic staff. Uh, that are persons that you, may, that you may turn to regarding anything, personal troubles, some unclarities regarding learning content, whatever. 
Uh, also, you will probably get your personal body. Body system is one of the ways to help foreign students. Personally, I was body um, last year. Uh, there were different questions and advices um, to one of the students. I gave advices regarding uh, renting a bike or buying dishes for her apartment. We also met a couple of times, so that are also uh, persons you, you can ask everything. Uh, regarding faculty itself, uh, you could have seen it um, in the video. Actually, I would just say that it's very student friendly. There is a library where you can get all the literature you need, where you can also study. A photocopy shop, cafes where you can grab coffee, tea or snack. Near the faculty there are also restaurants where you can eat. If you have any breaks between lectures, there is everything you need. To sum up, I must say that I'm actually very happy with the past two and a half years. It has been an amazing travel and I'm eager to continue it during the master studies. But I also must admit that it's not always everything so, so sunny and so easy. There are also tough per periods, but in that moment, you should actually remember why you decided to come to study to Ljubljana and try to solve that problem. As I said, you can um, talk to some one of the mentioned persons I said, or um, just try to get back to your first goal and at the end, everything will be okay. We, we, we've, we've all been there. That is why I um, tried to present you some personal experiences, experiences and give you some useful um, advices. I wish you to have as amazing travel as well. And I wish you a lot of luck with your final secondary school exams. Thank you, Jelena. Um, so I can just put on the screen with um, the last information where you will find us. Um, and now it's time for your questions. You can write them in chat or you can ask them now. As said, I couldn't go into very deeply into our programs because it's just too many programs. Um, each program is a bit specific, so it's easier to answer specific questions because we would need more, we would have to have more time to go into specifics. Here we have one question. Oh, uh, uh, so Carolina is asking about the application system. Uh, you can you can already apply. I will send you link to the application, uh, and um, you can choose three different programs um, in one application. Is maybe uh, any other question for the Faculty of Social Sciences? I think she someone was asking about call to enroll for to master study programs. It's not out yet, and as yeah. Katia said before. Um, we're hoping for it to come out till the end of February, right, Katya? Yeah, we hope so. Please just follow our website as soon as it will be confirmed. Uh, it is the same for the doctoral level. Uh, we will publish it on the website, our, at our website, Study Ula. Also, our faculty and acad academies will publish uh, polls at their website and also at the ministry website. So uh, just follow uh, our websites for more information. And uh, in the call for enrollment, you will also find information about specific degree program you're interested in. Uh, you will find which programs are offered for the next academic year and uh, what is uh, required. Um, I don't know, Moitza, maybe you already mentioned, I know that uh, I think only program journalism at our faculty requires a uh, certificate of Slovene language at B2 level, right? Yes, that's for bachelor, bachelor programs, and it's the same for master programs, it's also journalism. So um, on the bachelor and master level, only journalism, you will need the certificate of B2 level. Otherwise, it's not, um, it's not needed. 
Yeah, maybe maybe I, I can just a little bit explain uh, about uh, Slovenian legislation. Uh, so according to Slovenian legislation, we have to offer, offer all degree programs in Slovene. Uh, some of the programs are also parallelly organized in English or some other languages. Uh, our faculties and academies offer also more than 800 pro, uh, subjects in English, but uh, some of them are only uh, available for exchange students. Uh, so uh, it is good to know that uh, you at least understand Slovene language before enrollment. Uh, you have many possibilities uh, for learning Slovene. Uh, we already have free accessible online course. I will share with you information about learning Slovene, um, and uh, it, which is prepared in a different language. Uh, and also, um, you can apply for um, uh, for uh, how to say um, courses with teachers, with lecturers, uh, which are uh, provided online and in classrooms. And also, Elena mentioned several time year plus. Uh, maybe I, I, I would just briefly explain this uh, to you. Year plus uh, was prepared a few years ago, especially for international students uh, at their bachelor and master uh, degree studies in their first year of study at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, you do not have to pay uh, if you want to attend this um, activity, but um, it is good to know that uh, for example, if you are applying at the Faculty of Social Sciences at the program Journalism, where it is required a certificate at B2 level, uh, you cannot attend this activity, but otherwise you can attend it. And there are, uh, we have some requirements. Uh, and if you fulfill them, you can again enroll into the same year of study. So it's like uh, extension of student uh, status. Uh, now I see uh, here we have uh, questions about uh, politologia. Yeah, on a poli Aha, okay, uh, regarding administration, we will present this in the next presentation. And then we have uh, questions about communic um, communication and culturology. Uh, and uh, how many students are usually per one teachers? Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to say because we have uh, courses that are really small, where there are, for example, 10 students, but then we have some basic courses, especially in the first year of your bachelor studies, where there are 400 students in our big studying hall. So Yelena could tell you more about that, but there are big groups. Usually they are also divided in smaller ones for some um, exercise work and stuff. So it's very different. It varies from a subject to subject. There are some core subjects. Um, we call them like the main social science field subjects with which all first year students would get like politology, um, sociology and stuff like that. So you would all get no matter in which program you are, you would get them. We could go and see the um, curricula later on in our breakout rooms so I can show you. Um, I think the best thing Tamara wrote about the difference between between communication science and co um, cultural science. Tamara please join us in our breakout room later on and we can talk about those two programs. It will be probably the easiest way to answer your question because we don't have that much time yet right Katya? Yeah. Um, maybe I would just uh, I saw that Silma wrote about online classes before. Um, yeah, of course, all classes are online right now because of the situation. But unfortunately, none of our studying program is um, is signed that way that we, we could just um, have all the classes online. So as soon as the situation would get better, we will, we will go back to the faculty. Um, and hopefully in autumn time, we can have all the classes at the faculty. So we're not uh, um, entitled to, to work online all the time. Um, now I'm a there, bit lost with all the questions. There is still one question not answered. Uh, is there any entrance exam to get into master's programs? Um, Carolina. Okay. Uh, 
there are <laughs> there are exam, um, exams but to specific programs for European studies and international relations. So as I said before, when I uh, presented the programs, you have to be really specifically, you have to check the conditions, uh, applications or conditions to apply for each and every program because there are differences. Um, but of course you can, we can go to breakout room together and I will show you where on our website you can see the conditions for each program. Any other questions for now or? Um, if the presentations will be available at our website or? Yes, yes, I'm, all, yeah, I'm already answering to this one. Okay. Uh, uh, so yes, a presentation uh, will be available at the website and at the YouTube channel. And you will also, I will also send you a recording in the following days to the email addresses you uh, you listed at the application. So you will receive uh, recordings of all our presentation. And also I will send you more detailed um, uh, presentation recording of application admission procedure. So uh, you, you, you will be also able to watch it later. And um, I would just like to mention if you would uh, need any assistance uh, regarding uh, application procedure for bachelor and master studies, you can also apply uh, for online counseling. I will share with you a link when you can find this information. Um, we have this online counseling every Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, just a second. Uh, I can talk and write. <laughs> I'm trying to talk and write at the same time. Uh, and uh, we also have at the central level info point uh, for uh, if you have any question regarding admission and application uh, procedure. Uh, so uh, now we are running out of time. I would like to thank to Moitza, Jelena, and uh, Zarika for their uh, presentation and uh, answering your questions. Uh, if you would like to continue um, discussion with uh, representatives of Faculty of Social Sciences, uh, please go to the breakout room. Uh, if you will need help, uh, you can uh, write to Ahmed or uh, to Ula support and uh, we will help you uh, to go to, uh, to the breakout room. Thank you for joining us and uh, you can expect our email in the following day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So now we are starting with our last presentation. Uh, with us are already representatives of the public uh, administration. Uh, our Faculty of Public uh, Administration holds the longest tradition of education in the field of administration in Slovenia. And uh, students can develop and deepen their knowledge and skills in the bachelor, master, and doctoral degree programs. Uh, with us are Maria Sushnik from International Office, uh, Mataja Setnika, she's coming from Students Affairs Office, and I think that also Gregor Rudolf, student, he will join us later on. So, yeah, uh, uh, I think that most of you are the same uh, who already stated the presentation, maybe just a, a short introduction. Uh, our university has 26 members, we have three arts academies and 23 faculties, uh, and our members offer degree programs from all fields of study. Uh, also important information is that uh, today uh, it was opened application for bachelor and master degree programs. You can find it uh, on our website. I will also share with you a link. Uh, it is important to know that uh, you, you should and we would recommend you that you apply as soon as possible, even if you did not finish your studies yet. Uh, studies yet. So if you do not have diploma, matura, uh, you will send us documentation later. Uh, when you will apply, you will receive a, a letter which documentation you should send us for the recognition. Uh, and we will also share with you all contacts and uh, information uh, if you will, will need any support. So now I think Maria, you will start with the presentation, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Do you hear me well? Yes. Yeah, okay. So welcome uh, at this short 
Maria, sorry, I, I, I unmute you. Sí. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, welcome to this short presentation of uh, our uh, faculty. So yeah, uh, with me is uh, my colleague uh, Matea and our student uh, will join us later. We, uh, I would like to ask you students to candidates to send us uh, questions in the chat and later on we can talk uh, more on details and a um, few words about our faculty. We are the leading education and research institution in the field of public administration in Slovenia. Uh, we enhance really inter and multidisciplinary knowledge. So uh, in the field of administration, law, organization, economics, management, and informatics, so all of these together, we are not so young nor old experienced, uh, more than 60 years. We were established in 1956, and we have a bit less than uh, 1,000 students. We have a modern building, you can see it uh, in my background uh, and of my colleague, and we have a specialized um, specialized library. Uh, we are very proud of uh, EAPA accreditation, it means uh, accreditation of uh, European uh, Association. We have for the two programs on and the bachelor and one on the master. Uh, this prestigious accreditation, we cooperate with more than uh, eight international partner universities. We welcome each year uh, around 40 students per, uh, per, in second semester, this year less, of course, because of the COVID. And if you become our student, of course, you will be able to go on exchange on all of these uh, partners abroad, mostly in the EU. We are also experiencing organized many uh, uh, or uh, international uh, intensive programs like summer schools. Also in future, we plan to do so. And uh, many conferences and other events. We also so have a um, scientific journal called Central European Public Administration Review. So we do encourage students to take part in this uh, publishing. We have also active consulting and training center for professionals uh, in public uh, administration employed there. And uh, our research is uh, again focuses on uh, those fields that I mentioned before, like public sector, sector economics and finances, business and management studies in the public sector, administrative law, public policy, information of the public sector, e-government, human resource man management, and uh, of course, public administration. Uh, okay, so about a uh, few words about our study programs. We don't have as many um, as our neighboring um, faculty of social sciences. And I forgot to mention our uh, building, uh, our premises are uh, in the North City Center in uh, campus uh, together with faculty of uh, School of Economics and Business, faculty of education and faculty of social sciences. So nice environment, like uh, 10 minutes by car or bus from the city center. Uh, so the first program uh, is public sector governance. It's all of uh, free bachelor programs are three years. Uh, so it means six semesters, you will gain 180 ECTS points. Mm, the second one is administration and the, those both have this accreditation, we are happy proud of and proud of and the third one is together with uh, uh, the um, faculty of computer and information sciences mentioned in the previous presentations and all of three i should mention are held only in slovenian language so it is important and since um, we are like social sciences uh, uh, we do uh, need you to speak and follow, uh, be able to follow lectures in, uh, in, in Slovene. So these are application deadlines. Uh, I think that already uh, oh, Greg has just joined us. Uh, I will, uh, Grega, give you a word maybe because Grega 
has lectures. So I will invite students just for a few minutes to share with us uh, how is to be our student. Um, he's not uh, coming from abroad because we this year we, we, we welcomed the first generation of master uh, students from abroad and they unfortunately due to COVID are um, not in Ljubljana yet. Uh, so I asked Grega to share uh, how is to be student of master program. He's also, I would like to mention, very active uh, in student council and student organization, right, Grega? Unmute, yeah, please. Yes, I just figured out that I'm still muted. Yeah. Um, hi, hi to everyone. Um, as Maria said, my name is Grega. I'm also the president of the student council, the faculty. I haven't really listened to the first part of the presentation, but you we are know. on the beginning, so just share how is to be a student, maybe, yeah? Well, the faculty, as you have um, found out, is actually not as big. It's, it's a small faculty, um, which has its um, probably the most um, good points of having like a small faculty is that we are a tight-knit community, like the students and the professors as well. So you would not be treated as somebody from outside, but you would be incorporated in that family, which is always a good thing. So we have a very active student council. We have a very active student organization um, that tries to connect international students and Slovenian students together. Um, the whole faculty is, even though of its smallness, quite um, connected. Um, not only we have a lot of international um, exchanges possible, we have a lot of projects that offer you to go work at the, at the even public or private sector. Um, and you really do have a lot of opportunities to build yourself up as a, as a person or as even a career person. So the, the biggest point that I, I took from the faculty is that it does offer, in contrast to some of the faculties, interdisciplinary studies. So you would be, you would have knowledge in different kinds of fields. So you would have knowledge in the organization field, in the um, law field, in the economic field, um, in the accountant field, um, management field. So you would not be just learning one particular subject or one particular branch of science, but you would be learning quite a few of them. And by the end of even bachelor's degree or master's degree, you would become or um, you would be a person that has a lot of different um, competences, a lot of different knowledge that you can use in the sector. That, I think that is the most important thing when you finish your studies or when you go to a job interview, because they don't treat you as solely an economist or solely a lawyer or solely uh, a manager, but they do treat you um, in quite a broad way. And that's basically one of the things that makes our graduates well uh, employed. I didn't really have any problems of getting a job and I'm lucky I'm having quite a good job. Um, and a university or even the faculty of, of, of public administration does offer you those opportunities to grow. You just have to use them. And because we are such a small faculty, everyone really gets that opportunity, even with mentorships, or if you have a professor that you like, or a subject that you're particularly very interested in, you could go there, you could talk to them, you can share those opinions, your your desires, your wishes with them, and they will mentor you, they will try to connect you with different people, and they will try to um, try to make you get what you really came here for, for like the, the subject that you're interested in, or the, the thing that you want to learn. But I'm okay. here for any questions. If, if okay, so if you manage to be with us a few minutes more, maybe questions yeah. in chat. Otherwise, Grega needs to go for the lectures, right? 
yes, so yeah maybe to emphasize that uh, since we are not that big uh, uh, there is more personal approach and really we are active in your research so students are always invited to uh, to take part in some researchers or other uh, activities that we organize so um, I'm going to another slide um, about the number of slots for the free of bachelors. You can see um, 50 um, slots we have for a study program in administration. It means uh, it is distance learning, only uh, online learning. Otherwise it is um, full time. Uh, I can mention that we don't fulfill all those slots, so we don't have that high competition and there is no um, entrance uh, exams. So you are welcome, but for the bachelors, you need to have, uh, you, you need to uh, speak Slovene. And here is for the candidates of non-EU countries, you can see also, um, we don't have that many at the bachelor's level. Um, Actually, um, in, I think uh, in professional uh, and university study, less than 20 per year altogether. So here is uh, enrollment conditions. Uh, so any secondary school you have passed with uh, Matura uh, examination, it is uh, necessary for the university study program. And as Katia already mentioned, when applying, you don't need to already finish your uh, secondary school, but for the enrolling, you should. Uh, this is for the uh, professional study program. Here is a bit different. Uh, you don't need to have this um, general matura, matura, it's vocational secondary school, which is enough. And for the professional study program, all candidate, the candidates must demonstrate already before entering B2 level certificate of Slovene language. For the university study program, uh, this is not the case. So you can enter, but we do encourage you to take a year plus, which was mentioned before. So this is uh, again for the um, university study program, which is joined with um, faculty of computer and information sciences. Again, general matura because it is university. Again, it is only in Slovene. Uh, and here uh, we have, um, sorry. Mm. Okay, okay. Who need, uh, um, don't need to pay a um, fee. This was already in the presentations of Katya, so I will not go in details. But for bachelor and masters, uh, these are the cases that you don't need to pay fee. But if you are citizens of non-EU countries and uh, for uh, or if you already acquired equivalent degree, here are our um, fees, 3,000 3, for uh, study program in public sector governance, a bit more for, um, for that joint program and for professional it's 3,000 and the part-time it means uh, 2,200, uh, which is e-learning. These are uh, again what Katya mentioned, scholarships options at this moment only for uh, doctoral and from candidates from Jordan and Palestine and uh, from Slovenians abroad. These are also uh, um, the slides from previous presentation. That's why I will not go in details which documents you need to present to go through this uh, recognition process. And uh, again, for the uh, university study program or master in Slovene, we encourage you to take a uh, year plus, which is kind of preparatory year, where you will learn Slovene and uh, uh, Slovene system and culture. And also uh, you will uh, be able already to take courses in uh, your subject area and um, mm, like, mm, extension of student st status. And even in year plus, you will have student status. So all the, uh, all the um, 
um, possibilities of, uh, full time students have. More information there. And now we go to the master degree, which uh, I, we more encourage you because we have this master program, which we, is uh, the first year this year uh, started in English. Uh, uh, Parallelly, so it means uh, in Slovene and also in English. The, the master is called Public Sector Governance. It is two years. You will gain 170 ECTS. Another master program, Management Administration. Prior, it was together with University of Belgrade, joint master. Now it is uh, conducted only by our faculty. But this one is only in Slovene. So uh, about the master, um, again, in-depth knowledge in those in this disciplinary and multidisciplinary sciences. Uh, it will enable you to work in EU institutions, local public or business administrations or non-profit organizations. Uh, as mentioned, individual approach between professors, staff and students, again, uh, proud of accreditation of EAPA. Also, it is, um, it is, this program is in EMPA network, uh, the network of best public administration master programs in Europe. And again, it is ranked uh, among top 150 in the field of social sciences for the subject public administration by the Shanghai uh, um, scale. This one is fully in English. Um, application period is until September 15. For, for, for international candidates outside EU and Slovenes without citizenship, it is still July, uh, end of July. We will organize and would in, like to invite you first uh, June, uh, we will have the information day. The semester starts same for all programs in the beginning of October, of course in Ljubljana. Uh, first year 60 credits, second year again 60 and 3000 euros it is uh, for non-EU candidates, for uh, candidates uh, of EU there is no uh, scholarship and again from the countries we have this bilateral agreement which is on other slide. So um, enrollment conditions, you need to uh, finish the bachelor cycle program uh, equivalent to uh, uh, social sciences, uh, but this is the process of enrollment, it means recognition. Um, I don't know, I will, uh, anyway, it's one minute, uh, freshly new from today, uh, uh, short video about our master. Okay, sorry. Okay, so uh, as you uh, heard, mm -hmm. uh, it is master program, the all the lectures are in the afternoon. So all the students, even if they are full-time uh, enrolled, they can work. So this is also the benef benefit. Uh, and how many slots we have, places? Uh, we again, I think uh, Matea will uh, correct me, we don't fulfill them, so uh, there is no high competition, so you are welcome. But this, oh. it's true. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, in English, this one. Uh, also, if you are coming from a non-e country, there is again 
enough uh, enough uh, places and this is the program i will just show you you will get this presentation you will see like we mentioned there will be information technologies economic analysis research methods um, in the first year you have um, seven courses and one double in second year again seven and master th thesis and uh, this is the only module that we will conduct in English. So there, there will be sustainable development, European public finances. So uh, good knowledge is that you will have. And you will, uh, again, uh, be able to take some electives uh, like tax procedure or environmental sustainable or tax system in EU. So very EU oriented. This is again impression from uh, Gre Grega. Uh, and uh, I hope there is some candidate for the joint uh, doctoral degree, uh, governance in economics in the public sector. It is uh, conducted together with the University of Rijeka, Faculty of Economics and Business from Croatia. It's three years program. We, we enroll uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 candidates. Surround yourself with the best researchers in the field. So um, there are two uh, modules. Uh, here are a um, few sentences. Uh, it is designed for the deep theoretical and scientific and methodological, administrative, legal, organization, economic, managerial, and IT skills. Again, but here it is more research and uh, deep theoretical oriented. Uh, and this one is even less than one minute. So uh, please. Uh... Maria, maybe if you can turn off the voice, we didn't hear anything at the previous uh, uh, video presentation. Okay, we still do not hear anything. I will, um, you will have it in the presentation. You didn't hear it before either. No. Oh, so sorry for that. So uh, application period till 10 of September. Uh, it, 1st of June, you are most welcome to attend uh, the information day. And tuition fee is uh, altogether 11,000, but there is possibility of co-financing of tuition fee if you have high uh, enough uh, average of your uh, master. And it's last year, it was 80% of co-financing. So this was very nice, but it depends. Every year it can be different. This was the case of last year. These are the uh, the, uh, the courses. So first year you will have five courses. You, you need to pass five courses. Uh, one of them is that doctoral seminar. And in the second year you have six courses uh, and uh, of course a doctoral seminar and uh, doctoral thesis in the third year. Uh, it is open for graduate of uh, master programs. Uh, uh, so it again, it goes through the recognition process and these are the elective courses. Um, so um, I don't know uh, if there are any questions. I would like to thank you um, and welcome you to send us this uh, on this address send us the uh, emails oh my god youtube is now uh -huh, okay uh, are there any questions i don't know why um, can i will try to share a voice also Advanced computer audio. Practical problems, analytical work, synthesis of complex ideas. Now we don't see it, we just Yeah, 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 it. okay. <laughs> so, uh, are there any questions in the chat? Uh, no, we had one uh, question regarding application and I already sent link to the application. Um, 
I don't know, I think that I already explained, maybe just for those who joined us later, today it was open application for bachelor and single cycle master degree program. Uh, you can find it on this link. Um, I think that both me and Maria already mentioned that you can apply even if you do not have matura or uh, diploma yet. So you will send your documentation for recognition later on. Um, tomorrow, we also have a presentation of some of our faculties, uh, so uh, you can join us uh, from 2 p.m. on. We start with Faculty of Electrical Engineering at 2, then at 3 we have Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport at 4, Natural Sciences and Engineering, 5, Faculty of Arts, this is like Filosofska Facultita, it's uh, Humanities Faculties, it's not like Art Academies. And then at six, we have School of Economics and Business. Uh, I don't know, maybe I see Mateja. Do you want to say something, Mateja? No? Okay. No, okay. it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, if you do not have any question, uh, just uh, for conclusion, uh, we will send you a recording of all presentation to your email addresses you listed at the application. If you did not apply for the uh, presentation, you can find, uh, you will be able to find in the following days uh, recording at our website and at our YouTube uh, channel. We will also share it uh, through Facebook uh, account. So we will be able to find our presentation. I will also share with you uh, video presentation with more detailed instruction regarding admission and application procedure. Uh, and also uh, my colleagues from admission office at the rectorate, uh, they offer support for bachelor and single cycle master degree programs regarding application and admission. You can apply for online counseling every Wednesday from 1 to 2.30 p.m. You can find all information at our website, Study ULA. And we are also available for more information at uh, our info point. At the moment, it's closed. You can contact us by email uh, or phone. Um, I will also send you all contact information uh, uh, to your uh, email address, uh, with, with which person, which emails uh, should you uh, contact uh, regarding specific uh, questions, because there are many procedures uh, and there are a lot of persons who are responsible um, uh, for them. Uh, so I don't know, maybe would faculty of public administration, administration would like to add something? No, just oh. thank you and uh, uh, good luck with the, uh, finishing your secondary or bachelor's degrees and come to Ljubljana. Yeah, and we also would like to we wish you uh, that you successfully finish your studies and uh, decide uh, regarding your uh, degree studies. So thank you all for joining us and hopefully see you in October. Bye. 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 Evo, se zdaj sva sama, Ahmed, sem ga dala v waiting room. Živa, ja, to je to. Ja, super je šlo, mislim tako. A ste imeli vi kaj problemov, prej kaj v trumi? 
Нити не, май си съм се могъл, ще знае да, да найде му с говорца, да их лъхко представам в Breakout Room, къде е било най-инкрат съм правеч, мислим, отрежен цел. Па съм си израден, ще записовал. Лъхко би се по-лише приявал на Inova в Zoom, па да пошлям ще листа у всех отрежен цел, ки се донс бли. Лъхко, я. Се и так масте, а не, ок е послов тут вам. Я, я. Tako da vam bom še to poslal. Lahko zdaj PDV jo še napišem, da imajo, ne vem, pet minut, da zaključujo. Se ne vem, če ti sam nehava snemati. 